situation this offseason and dating back to last season in the NBA playoffs with Ben Simmons and the Philadelphia 76ers has been the talking point of the entire NBA offseason this year and I wasn't going to make a video about this topic but it's just been over the news so much that I really feel like I have to and I really did want to give you guys today my thoughts on the situation because this is really one of the most interesting player and team relationships that we've ever seen in NBA history. I mean, overall, this complete situation is just Hello. a complete mess. And I wanted to go over and kind of summarize, with, summarize it with you guys today and also just give you my opinion on this whole situation because I think it's really getting ridiculous and honestly kind of funny to see this relationship and just how it's turning out. So let's get into the video. The first thing I wanted to talk about in this situation is how it started and how Ben Simmons is really being soft in this situation. And as an NBA player, you have to be ready to get lots of not only constructive criticism, but also a harsh criticism from fans and across the NBA community on social media and all that kind of stuff. You have to be ready to take that and also block it out if you really don't like it. But Ben Simmons in this situation, unfortunately, is just not ready for this type of criticism. And really the whole entire reason why he's asking out of Philadelphia is because of the criticism of the fans and how he wasn't able to hold himself accountable Man, was no his historic here. bad playoff performance. This was easily the worst playoff performance that we've ever seen from a player that made the all-star team in that season. And Ben Simmons just completely Hello, played horribly in that series. And against the Atlanta Hawks in that, in that seven-game series in the second round last season, he only attempted six field goals per game, which is absolutely insane for an all-star player. And he absolutely had no confidence out there on the floor. And obviously his inability to shoot as well has kind of always really hurt his team but especially in this playoffs really hurt them because of how he was a complete liability at the free throw line and he could literally just get fouled and he only shot 34 percent from the free throw line in that in that playoff series Man, so obviously no criticism is going to come from fans but oh, hi, Bridge Man. not ready to take this criticism and like i said he did not hold himself accountable and join my fan page tourney situation requesting a trade from the six okay man because instead of having the right attitude that you should have as a player and be willing to try uh, to improve and try to please the fans that you are getting criticism from and take on action yourself to become a better player. He is just completely blaming uh, this one on the fans. Well, and time to open on any other team. Everybody call me. Time to open up Instagram fans, so I can DM Bridgeman. I don't think he really realizes that yet. Another thing that kind of led up to this situation of him requesting a trade, something that really stood out to me here was that I won't one say anything because I don't want to get banned. Out of the playoffs last season. Oh well, yes. Doc Rivers, and as we know, last season, Doc Rivers was always a guy that was really on Ben Simmons' side and always tried to defend him. But he was asked a question by a reporter, and the reporter essentially asked, do you still think Ben Simmons is a championship-level point guard? And Doc's answer to the question was that he didn't know the answer to that question at that time. And this is just one of those typical press conference questions where the coach at this time, Doc Rivers, just didn't really want to answer the question. And obviously, logically, the answer to this question would be no. I mean, I really don't see how you could consider Ben Simmons a championship level starting point guard for a team. Like, if he's your second option, I really don't see how you could legitimately contend for a championship. That's my opinion. We might have different, opin different opinions on that. But Doc Rivers essentially just kind of brushed off of the question. Like, he didn't really want to answer it at that time because he kind of knew the answer to it, but because he didn't really say Hi, yes to that answer, for some reason, Ben Simmons overreacts to this as well. And just because of this one stupid I'm question DMing in the press conference, all of a sudden, Ben Simmons thinks that his coach is completely not on his side. And Doc Rivers completely has the right to not be on Ben Simmons' side because he essentially blew that series for them with his horrible shooting struggles, free throw struggles, and his horrible lack of confidence. So I think Ben Simmons overall yep. just completely overreacted re to this situation and ever since the Sixers lost that game 7 to the Hawks reportedly Ben Simmons has not even been in contact with the Philadelphia 76ers team and he is absolutely refusing to play another game for them in the future just because he got a little bit of criticism from Iso his coach gang. and a yes, lot sir. of criticism from the fans. As a player Football I just really February. don't see how Ben Simmons is taking weekend. the right approach to this situation and I think Chad, his Chad. attitude toward the situation is why he's never really going to improve as a player in the NBA.
So now let's get into some more current stuff about the situation with Ben Simmons. So after the loss to the Atlanta Hawks in the playoffs, in the start of this offseason, obviously Ben Simmons requests a trade and the Sixers do start shopping him and seeing what kind of trade options they can get back for him. But now the problem with what the Sixers are doing here, looking for trades for Ben Simmons, is that they think his value is way higher than actually Bro, my life being advertised. And asking for way Look too much this. in return for him. I mean, this is a guy who just bro. I see myself live. For an all -star. Okay, that's NBA actually kind of cool. Shot forty or thirty-four percent from the free throw line in that playoff I series. I know that's me. At times, can make a team's offense worse because of his inability to shoot and space the floor. And he's continually getting a little bit worse every year. Unlike most players who progress throughout their career, Ben Simmons' best statistical season in his career so far has been his rookie season, and his worst statistical season was last year. I mean, sure, he's still a top. Top 10 defender in the league, probably one of, if not the best pro okay, defender in the game, and a decent playmaker and a pretty good passer. But overall, offensively, like I said, he can legitimately make your team's offense worse at times if he's not hitting his free throws and if he doesn't end up developing a three point Terrence shot. Must. Despite oh, all of this and the fact that he's probably not considered a top 50 player in the league anymore, the Sixers, for example, tried to trade him to the Toronto Raptors and reportedly offered him for Fred Van Vliet, OG Ananobi. I believe there was another player involved as well, and multiple first-round picks. I mean, as a Raptors fan, I would not even trade Ben Simmons for OG Ananobi straight up. I mean, that's how low Ben Simmons' uh, value is. Ben Simmons is right an now. L in the terms of attitude, I agree. Well, Philly yeah, fans did, did him wrong. I wouldn't come back to the franchise if I were him. I agree. He needs to start fresh somewhere. People be Ben Simmons, but the Sixers said that the only possible thing that they would take back for him is I have to agree. He he shouldn't come back. He needs to start fresh somewhere. This season. If he stays, I have no no idea what how he's gonna do it people be people even his own fan base gonna come for his head per game and that's the only thing that they were taking a return for a player right now who's not this is even a facts i'm pinning this the and ben simmons these are just a couple mm. of the examples of so screenshotting that, that. Asked for that are way too ambitious and i don't even think they're willing to lower their expectations for their return enough that they're going to even be able to trade ben simmons so now we get to the point now where Ben Simmons is not reporting yes yeah, because I literally really agree with that that's literally my exact that he's thoughts really truly not gonna play another mm. game for the Sixers team like he and should he not play again that I really don't see how he's going to be playing basketball at all this year unless either him or the Sixers end up settling for the reality here which is that if the Sixers want to get a trade done for Ben Simmons it's really not gonna be for anything at all I mean hey you look maybe it's not for one or two first round picks maybe throw in a role player in there but realistically i don't see how there's going to be that much more of a trade package for ben simmons with how low his value truly is right now or ben simmons is going to have to accept the fact that the Sixers are asking way too much for him he's not going to be playing basketball this year if they don't settle so if that happens then he's going to have to settle and end up probably at mid-season or something actually playing games for the sixers team and if he does come back to this team imagine the toxic locker room that he would be in i mean i can't imagine Imagine a guy who completely quit on a team and then finally gives in and comes back to them. I mean, it would just be such, it would be so awkward Fair. and weird to have him back on the Philadelphia 76ers. And honestly, this scenario he should right not here, come back. I really don't see it happening because Ben Simmons seems right now that he truly believes he's played his last game as a Philadelphia 76er. So either these two scenarios And is he not, isn't he not showing up the training kind of camp too? In. Like he or definitely does not want to stay there. something in the middle where Ben Simmons literally just doesn't Maybe Ratio counter here, and I really don't see how like he's not coming back. Like he's already like, aren't all, they withholding money from him so because he's not going? Like right family ain't coming back. I don't back. know if my if this is a hot take for, coming from me or a logical take coming from me, but I really just don't see how the Sixers are gonna get done a productive trade for Ben Simmons with what they think his value at is right now based on what and versus what his actual value really is. So this is definitely a really interesting situation here. And that's kind of my opinion on it is either one side is going to have to give in or Ben Simmons is just not going to be playing basketball this season. Now to make this situation even more ridiculous and interesting and really just hilarious overall, this Friday, the Sixers did not pay Ben Simmons. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. $5 million of his contract that they owed to him because he 
fees awaiting a trade and requested one. I mean, I didn't even know they were allowed to do this. I mean, they probably yeah. This is what I was talking about like earlier. The details about the situation and what's what's going to happen because mm -hmm. the Sixers aren't paying him. But this just really proves here that the Sixers are moving on from Ben Simmons and they know that he's not really a part of their team anymore. So the scenario I talked about where maybe Ben Simmons realized that he has to come back to the Sixers, I don't even know if the Sixers are going to let him come back. I think the most likely scenario here is that the Sixers finally realize in this situation that they're that what they're asking in return for Ben Simmons in a trade is just simply unrealistic and they're going to end Bats. up settling for something that is way less than what they expected to get back. Like I said, in my in my opinion a realistic trade option for this team would be to trade Ben Simmons for maybe two first round picks and a decent role player who has a little bit of potential and I really think that's the furthest they can go I don't see how Ben Simmons' value is higher than that right now and I think overall my prediction for this scenario is that's what's going to happen probably about 20 or 30 games into this season pretty far into Bro, this season this. the Sixers are finally going to realize what they have to do to just ben end the this situation and get Ben Simmons is this off bias? the team and overall, this might be just a terrible bias, man. situation for the Sixers, and it's all because of Ben Simmons' horrible Lonzo, attitude. Well, yes, Lonzo and how is he's the just goal. not willing we to all know that. the fact that he had a horrible playoffs last season. Hours. He's not willing to Whoa. take that criticism and I'm watching from a, fans. And I'm also and watching a 76ers video. I owe. Player. And overall, the situation Everything is lining up mess, and a those bit are my too perfectly. On it and what's going to happen and overall my thoughts on it. So that's going to conclude today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to comment down below your thoughts on this incredibly weird situation and relationship between Ben Simmons and the Philadelphia 76ers. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe as almost 90% of you watching ben. my videos right now. That's an L, bro. Biggest L ever. Thousand subscribers so if you are new do me a favor and hit that subscribe button it would really help me out a lot thank you guys for watching and i'll big see you all next video that's a big l